Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? Electric X here, and today we are back in Subnautica. Welcome back, everyone, to this lovely, lovely game. Uh, and today, uh, I believe uh, the goal for today is to be getting uh, the moon pool, uh, as I, I think we got that in the last episode, as well as the Cyclops, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that is basically what we're going to be trying to do today. So let's head, uh, actually, wait, what do I need for the moon pool and why is my sea glide working, but it says that I need to exchange, oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> it was just on the verge. Uh, let's go in here for a minute so I can look at the resources that I need for the moon pool. Actually, let's uh, do a little bit of this. Uh, moon pool, titanium ingots, lubricant, and two lead. Okay, I can do that. Uh, how much titanium do I have? I have the fours in here. Um, I only have one lead, so I need more lead. Uh, let's see what I got down in the good old lockers down here. Hmm. There is one. I have five titaniums. What about here? Oh, there's another lead. Perfect. I need that. Oh, come on. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. I need uh, six more. Please have six lead in it. Please, please have six lead. Just six lead or titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now I have all the titaniums that I need. Alright, so let's make some titanium ingots. Perfect. Lovely, lovely titanium. Uh, now I gotta go get a creep vine sample so I can make a lubricant. Grab a couple. Why not? Uh, how much inventory space do I have? I can pick up this metal salvage, yes. I can pick up the metal salvage. Give. Thank you. Floaters are carrying that rock. Slice and dice the giant coral tubes so I have some giant coral tube samples that I can use with the salt to make bleach so I can use the bleach to make water. But first we're going to make a filtered water with the bladder fish. Alright, uh, I'm going to need a couple more titanium so I can build, or do I want to make it glass? Ooh. I have glass in my inventory. What am I going to need for the uh, mobile vehicle bay? Or the vehicle upgrade console. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I has big brain. Other times I does not have big brain. Uh, where's the thing? There it is. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need titanium for that. I don't need glass, so I think I'm just going to use glass for the thing. For the moon pool. Glass for the moon pool. Or not for the moon pool, for the for the tube going to the moon pool. Jeez, I can't talk in things. I can't do talky things. Eyeglass compartment. Here we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna take all of that. I might because I might need to make another eye compartment. Uh where is the is it over here? Or am I stupid? No, it's this way. Ooh, look at that thermal vent. See it through the lights. This game is quite. <laughs> this game has glitches. Like uh, in in my other world, I actually took a clip, a, a video clip of this. In my other world, I literally like I was playing and I got out of my prawn suit in the or like I got out in the um, the moon pool with my prawn suit. It just it literally made it so that it's the right way around, right? Yeah, it is. And it literally made it so that uh, like. I was under the water, but it was acting like I wasn't, so I it, there was, like, gravity and stuff, and I couldn't, like, I... <laughs> it was so weird. W welcome to Subnautica, where I can walk on the ocean floor and have infinite oxygen, and... This is very broken right now. <laughs> I, I broke Subnautica. What is going on? I can walk up the... I can... I am Ocean Man. What if I, you know... That's so weird. What if I get in the Cyclops? Can I do that? I get in and I get out. 
Oh, it worked. Uh, rotate that again, because I'm probably going to need this here. And then, finally, finally, I can make the moon pool. Attach. Aw, yeah. Moon pool is fabricated. Oh, wait. Hold on. I need reinforcement. A reinforcement. And put that there. That is the wrong button. That is the correct button. Are you done yet? There we go. Uh, plus seven. I think that is enough for us to construct the moon pool, please. Okay. Now 5.8. We're good. The base is fine. The base is fine. But we are going to want a fabricator. Hey, my trees are growing. Yay. Uh, what do I need for a fabricator? I need titanium, gold, and a table. Oh, I can totally do that. That's so easy. That's so easy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just infected with the, with the virus of the game. The Kara, I think. I think that's what it's called. And then I'm thinking I could have several med kit fabricators as well on like the sides and stuff. What do I need for those, by the way? Computer chip fiber. Oh, computer chips are very annoying. Uh, in the meantime, I will. Ma what do I need for a radio? Uh, a copper, which I can go get. Uh, in the meantime, I'll make a wall locker. Lockers are good. Lockers are good. There we go. And I'll make another one. I need. Quartz. Oh, I thought I'd need glass. Oh, I have a battery charger. <gasps> Ooh, battery charger. Gonna need one of those. Have to. Priorities. Priorities. Uh, and then just like a little spoon. Uh, whatever, that works. I'm trying to make it look as nice as possible. Uh, let's do metal. That is not how you spell metal. There we go. Metal. Metal. And then there's going to be another one there. Metal, but I'm going to save titanium for other things. Oh, yeah, the vehicle upgrade console. I want to do that as well. I should probably go dock the Seamoth. That's a great idea. I love how the, I love how the moon pool just has one really long leg just extending down. Just like, yeah, pose. <laughs> like, yeah, like this moon pool is not messing around. Oh, it's back. Okay. I expected it to be the other way around, but okay, that's fine. All right, sweet. Uh, and in the meantime, while I'm sitting here, what do I need for a vehicle upgrade console? Computer chip and a copper wire. Computer chip, I need table coral sample, uh, gold and copper wire? I don't remember. Bleach is good. Don't drink bleach. Unless you want to do the not alive anymore. But please don't, don't drink bleach. Okay, back in the water now. Ooh, okay, now the stuff cleared. Now I can see, this is a sandstone. <gasps> Whoa. Excellent question. Whoa. Spooky. Real spooky. I wonder what that was. I know exactly what that was. This is part of the problem of playing this game after I've like watched it all and seen everything. I know what to expect and I know what's happening. I know what happens. So in a way it makes it better because like I mean I'm not scared. Nothing in this game really scares me. But on the other hand like there's no mystery for it for me. <laughs> there's no mystery to it. So at this point, it's kind of just like, just doing the thing that I gotta do to do the thing that I gotta do to finish the game. But like one of the really cool parts about Subnautica is that it's a survival game, but it's also got a story to it. And that's like one of the best, that is, that is what makes it, one of the things that makes it so unique is because there are a lot of games out there, like they got story and stuff, or like they got survival. But they don't have as good of a story, or they don't have a story really at all. Like, take Minecraft, for example. Yeah, you survive in it. But, like, in Minecraft, it's 
like you, you there there is an end goal to defeat the ender dragon and then go to the end city and get like the elytra or something but like it's not really like a story with dialogue and characters or anything it's really just you going to com complete an ultimate goal basically uh this game is great but i forget what the heck i'm doing half the time do i have titanium i i think i do yes i do all right guys i got literally one suggestion for what to name the sea moth and that is electric sea so i think i think that's what we're going to be naming the sea moth uh yep there we go because we can name the sea moth right now oh look at that look at this uh all right so we are going to activate this and electric c i'm just gonna i'm gonna do caps there okay sweet so now we have electric c the c moth i don't want to say that it's not a great name i don't want to be mean or anything it's personally not a name that i would choose but that's okay it's unique unique but it's not the most creative so maybe maybe if you guys make some more suggestions uh, maybe maybe we could change that maybe we can make it a little bit better no offense to the person who commented i don't want to be me i'm not i'm not trying to be mean or anything but i think we can do a little bit better but so we'll have it like that for now we'll have an electric c for now uh, and uh, we can we can change it if we come up with a better one. Uh, okay, what do I need again for? Oh, modification station. I need copper wire and titanium. Okay, I can get a titanium literally right now. Uh, there and uh, nope, it was in here. Battery charger, yay! So battery charger and power cell chargers and stuff will go in the door. Yay! Battery! Battery charger! Hooray! Um, there's a battery ad on me. Perfect! Beautiful! Okay, what do I need for... Where is it? This. Two lead. Okay, I think I have another lead in here. Okay, so I can build one of these, and that will both reinforce the base and give me a place to put an exterior grow bed, which I can then put nice, cool stuff and things in. Uh, put it right there. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that foundation is. And it adds more to the hull strength. Perfect. Uh, where is it? Exterior modules. Yes. Oh, I only needed two. Okay. Sweet. Uh, there. Sure. That works. And I can go into here, and I can put that, that, and that. I know. I, I have mixed emotions about that, but okay. I wonder if I can plant one of my deep shrooms. Then, can I... I can plant it. So I'm just wondering, so I wonder if it'll make more. We'll find out. We will find out in time. Alright, um... What else do I want to make? I kind of want to make another moon pool right now and get that over and done with i don't know if i can make a well, modification station would be good i have a diamond i don't know if i have lead though i might um let's see i don't know if i can connect the moon pools together directly i might need a tunnel between them i can try to connect them directly though that would be cool that would be cool if i can um I think I'm going to try to do that. So let's grab titanium. Bunch of titanium. Uh, that's seven. I need uh, 13 more. Quick mats. Quick mats. Let's go find some more titanium. Woo! Half this game is a titanium hunt. How much inventory space do I have? Oh, I got plenty of. 
And here is another metal salvage. Metal salvage. Uh, can I get one more? I can get exactly one more. Perfect. Is it? No, that's just part of a rock. That's part of a rock. Rock does not equal metal always. But what BR do that do BR? It's a phrase to live by. What cannot BR do can BR done by the do BR. I'm just spitting out inspirational quotes today that make both no sense and all the sense at the same time. Oh, I only have 8% battery on this thing already? I just, I just loaded you up with a fresh, fresh battery. And you're telling me you're only on 8%. You're already on 8%. Uh, I need titanium, right. I need lots and lots and lots of titanium. In below zero, they don't have metal salvages, unfortunately, so you have to go and find titanium in the environment. And you need titanium for everything. Titanium is essential. Uh, what else do I need for a moon pool? Do I need lead? I might need lead. I can't remember. I need lead. Is my creep fine grown yet? Did my creep vine do the big grow yet? No, it didn't. Uh, hey, my brain coral, sweet. 30% and yeah, 30% everything. Honestly, if my deep stream grows, it probably won't. It'll just be sitting there. I'll have to go get more. Uh, but for the moment, I have to go get a creep vine sample. Which is right over here. Or not a creep vine sample, a uh, seed cluster. That's what I need. Give me the seed. Thank you. Beautiful. And up. Oh, that's the sea moth. I slammed it in the sea moth. Whoops. Now I need some lubricant. Give me the lubricant. Oh, I don't have much power because it's nighttime. I can't make a thermal reactor yet, can I? That's not what I meant. I, I meant this. Look at it so much easier. Thermal plant. Yeah, I don't have the ingredients for a thermal plant. Dang it. I want a thermal plant, because there's a thermal vent right there, and it's so handy. Lead. Lead me to the lead. The lead led me to the lead. Blue pot. Ooh, that's a pretty plant. That's a pretty plant. Oh, I hate those things. Those things are really annoying. They bite you and it hurts. Yeah, those dudes. Ugh. Oh, I have a flashlight. Oh, but it's out of battery. <laughs> Oxygen. Oh, sandstone outcrops, where are you? Oh, I have a radio massage. We shall listen to that briefly, shortly. I should say, we have the materials to make a radio now. <laughs> we shall place one in the base and celebrate by listening to this beautiful, beautiful massage. Aha! That is a sandstone outcrop. Yes, lead. I need one more. Please don't let there be any bomb fish in here. Ooh. Ooh. Is that silver? Okay, I'll take it. I kind of need that. Here's another one. Give. Gold. Okay. These are just limestone outcrops. With titanium and inventory's full. Dang it. Eh, it's just a titanium. I got plenty of that. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's a stalker. Don't mind me. Lead. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Hello, brain coral. Can I have an oxygen? Ooh, here's another one. That's a stalker. Go away, stalker. Do the gone, please. Thank you. 81 meters. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I'm gonna be naked. I think I'm fine. 
Yeah, I know. I'm going there now. I'm going. I'm getting my little butt up there now. Thank you. Yay! Look at this knife. It's so. It's it's such a good. It's such a cool knife. It's very sleek and it's got a hole in it. I wonder what that hole's for. If you're a lonely survivor and you got a knife, why why do you need a hole in it? Gasopod, that was a really weird noise. Like a <laughs> I don't know, it was almost robotic. Hmm Back to the base, yes. Yes, precisely. Yes, precisely. I need to make it back to the base so I can get inside of the base so I can make the stuff that I need to make. Uh, wait, do I already have a it? I think I do. Oh, yeah, I can just build the thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to test to see if it can be built. Um, I'm going to test to see if it can be built right next to another one. Um, can it? In theory, it can, but will it connect? That's the question. Please connect. Oh, yes! It connects! Oh, that's awesome! That is so cool! Oh, yes! I didn't think I didn't know if it would do that. And it totally did. That's awesome. Up the ladder. Okay. Oh, my mouse disconnected. Dang it. Oh, now it's connected again. Oh, look at that. Now I got a tunnel under a moon pool and a tunnel back down to moon pool. So now I can kind of have what I want to do is I want to have my base kind of revolve around the moon pools. So I want to have the two moon pools in the center. Are kind of close to the center or something like that and then have the rest of the base around them which that'll be kind of cool uh, but for now I'm gonna grab this battery out of the charger I'm going to unload the battery from here and stick that battery in the charger and then so yeah, I should save the game. And then I want to stick this battery in here. I probably could have just, you know, unloaded the battery. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do stick it in there in my thing. Uh, I want to build a radio. I only need one of these. A med kit fabricator might be nice to have multiple of. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I love that interaction. I I think that is my favorite radio message, or sorry, radio massage. I think that's my favorite radio thing because because <laughs> the whole the whole sandwich, the whole sandwich run. That's hilarious. I love that. Uh, so we got the code to the uh the captain's quarters in the Aurora. Um, so that is very good information to have. Uh, and on that note, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Subnautica. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and do everything you can to make the channel the most popular on YouTube. And be sure to click that bell for notifications to know when the latest and most amazing From Electric X comes out. And be sure to comment down below, uh, A, what colors you want me to make the Seamoth, B, uh, 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 potentially a better name for the Seamoth, uh, a name for the Cyclops, and a name for... Um, the prawn suit um so yeah uh and on that note i will see you guys in the next video goodbye